Hi everyone. I have another unboxing for you and this time it is my um, purchased bargain bead box. Uh, it is one of my favorite bead subscription bags, boxes, whatever, of that I've gotten. So, and I've been a participant in this um, every month for a few years now. <laughs> so let's see what we got. I cut it open, but I didn't, um, I didn't do anything with it yet. So the first thing I do, oh, this is called Midnight Skies. And I am going to do myself a favor and write on here right away that this is January 2023. Can you believe that? And actually, I write it on both sides as well. Just so, depending on how I have it at the moment, like my pen. Metal Scrap and Chick gifted that to me. <laughs> okay, so what we have here, inspired by Starry Winter Nights, this eclectic palette mixes a variety of blues ooh, with the subtle glow of Labradorite. Oh my goodness, love Labradorite. Electroplated agate, Czech glass stars, crystal accents, and bold glass barrel beads. Combined with the set of high quality stainless steel and pewter findings and classic celestial shapes to complete the collection. Yes, please. Now wait, I want to see. Um, oh, they have a new Facebook group. I'm not going to show you the coupon code, but there's a coupon code every month for those who get the box and it's to their sister store, Bead Box Bargains. Okay, so if you go and um, show what you make with your shipment, I guess at the new Facebook group, which is Bargain Bead Box Creative Corner, um, then you can be entered to win um, a $50, a $50 gift certificate. Wow, was that always that high? I don't know. Winner will be announced on the Facebook page in March. So they give you some time to work with it, get your photos out there, and then I think they just randomly select the winners. I don't think it's like, you know, yours is better than theirs kind of thing. I'm pretty sure. Warning, this package contains small parts, which, re parts which present a choking hazard. Please keep all items out of reach of children. So I am going to take this all out of the tissue it's wrapped very, you know, round ball. Um, so I will, well, let me take it out and we'll see what we have. Okay, everyone, I've got everything out of the bag. Um, and I will tell you right off this top that I discovered that I got two instead of one of number 15, which we'll go over. And there's a space for number four. I have already contacted um, Bargain Bead Box by email, and I'm sure I'll hear back promptly. I've always had good customer service with um, Bargain Bead Box in the past, and um, they've been more than generous with me as well. So number one, one meter of three millimeter steel Rolo jewelry chain, and we talked about Rolo last month um, where it's a a roundish link and then the round link on the next one goes the opposite direction and then so it's back and forth between the two different directions very pretty and this is lead free nickel free and uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's made of because it doesn't have the asterisk but there are things with a single asterisk which says um, made of pewter alloy with antique silver finish and lead free is LF and NF is nickel free. It does not say cadmium free on this particular chain. Um, so I don't know. Um, the bead caps do say lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. They're in number two and they are star bead caps. Very pretty. And they are, the silver is the finding this time. Silver color findings. There we go. Sort of. Oh, we almost had it, didn't we? Come on. 
what is it with this camera? That, oh, there we go, sorta. Okay, so that's number two. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Sorry about that. <laughs> number three is two pieces, 23 millimeter stainless steel moon phase cutout coin pendants. These are cool. So all the different phases of the moon. I don't, I love the moon and the stars and everything and the, and the sun as well. But um, I don't know the waxing and waning and all that stuff. This obviously is full moon down here. So yeah, I should get up to speed on that. I used to really love um, the sciences related to moons and stars and sky. So number four is supposed to be five pieces, 11.5 millimeter starburst pattern glass cylinder beads. So I really am sad not to get those, but I'm sure they'll, they'll make good on it if they have any more outside the boxes. I don't know. And then number five is 10 pieces of these links, these cute little silver links with the star, oops, the star and the moon. They're really cute. I am, I have an idea already for these. So and they're lead free, cadmium free. It does not say nickel free. So if I make that to sell, I'll have to warn people about that. Number six, 10 piece, eight millimeter. I haven't seen these before. Frosted glass star beads. And they have like an AB. Oh, it says crystal AB, duh. And 10 pieces, eight millimeter. Those are gorgeous. Love those. Number six is toggle clasp, kind of a standard toggle, a little bit of a squarish design. And the bar is pretty long, so it should, you know, close securely, hopefully. And then these gorgeous things here are approximately 10 inch, six millimeter English cut crystal beads, steel blue. You know me and steel blue and blue in general. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Lovey love. Love love. <laughs> and then number, t uh, what is this? What am I up to? Nine. Number nine, 10 piece strand, 10 millimeter, quote unquote, moonstone. They're glass beads. Um, where am I here? Uh, 10 millimeter moonstone glass round beads, soft blue. And they're sort of, they have a seam, like half of them is a darker blue and half of them is a, is a lighter blue with the iridescence in it. They're really kind of cool. I don't have many beads other than getting them in these kits that are like this. Isn't that cool? Love that. So that was number nine. And then number 10 is a 10 gram bag of five millimeter star spacer beads. And these are lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. Pewter alloy, antique silver finish. And if you have any leftovers, you can use them for your holiday crafting. <laughs> They are silver, they're not, there. They're small, they're five millimeter and they have a hole drilled, I think through the point. Yeah, through the point and the middle of two of the star points. I find with these sometimes, I don't know if it's true with these that, yeah, see the, no, that's the middle one. Okay, that one's right in the middle of the point, so that's a good one. But sometimes they're like off center and yeah. Anyway, these next ones are, where am I on number 11? Yes, four piece, 12 millimeter, stainless steel, crescent moon cut out round links. These are links with the crescent moon. They're not bad. I think I bought something similar. I don't I think it was this one, but it was something along these lines in stainless steel from Beadbox Bargains. I'll have to check now. 
Um, <clears throat> and then number 12, approximately seven and a half strand, eight millimeter druzy agate electroplated beads. Look at the druzy on that one. It's gorgeous and sparkly. This one has, um, you know, druzy puts little holes in the in it, and it has that sparkly like you get inside of a geode but there's just touches of it and it's not everywhere they're there uh, let me get it closer you can see maybe see right there is a lot of the druzy come on camera focus focus uh. That's a little better, but not great. Anyway, and then number 13, we have eight inch strand, eight by six millimeters, a nice size, um, crystal rondelle beads in deep blue mix. Yeah, you got some teal, some lighter blue, some clear, some deep blue. These are also a nice size, really super pretty and sparkly. That's 13 and then 14 is a 38 by 30 millimeter antique silver brass crescent pendant with labradorite oval. That's interesting. It's definitely antique compared to some of these others that say antique, but they're more bright. I wonder if that would polish up um, more. Maybe. I'll get a polishing cloth and try that before I use it, or maybe I'll just leave it antiqued. I don't know yet. The next one is the one I got an extra of, 22 millimeter curved forest moon link. It has two holes, one here and one here. And it looks like that, I guess it's the forest around the moon. Oh, come on, really? Pretty cool. I like that one. I got two of them. <laughs> okay, number 16 is approximately seven and a half inch strand, four millimeter labradorite faceted round beads. These are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. They're so sparkly and beautiful. I absolutely love them. And even though gray is not a color I wear a lot, I like Labradorite because it goes with blues and other colors so, so much. And those are so sparkly and nice. These are large chip beads in Labradorite, approximately five inch strand. Look, you can see the blue on some of them. Wow. That one here a lot and there's one over here that's showing off a lot to a couple of them right there yeah that one there has a lot of blue actually uh, quite a number of them do have a lot of blue in them for chip beads wow and then the last thing number 18 we got 18 things this time and i believe i ordered these on my own previously are 20 pieces of six millimeter Czech pressed glass star beads in crystal slash steel blue luster, which means part of them is clear and part of them has the steel blue luster. I think they're so adorable. I can't wait to play with this whole kit. So um, that is the kit. It says that it is a value of approximately retail value approximately $77 the one oh the ones that were stainless steel made of hypoallergenic stainless steel it all came inside this blue bag which is gorgeous too and wrapped in this tissue I'm just checking it to make sure the tissue doesn't have my missing item but it doesn't and then all that was inside a darker blue bag this time um, sometimes we get that and sometimes we get the the teal color so that's the january 2023 bargain bead box called midnight skies i think i will have a lot of fun playing with this theme 
this month. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you're interested in subscribing, I'll have a link for this store also, this uh, kit subscription also. And if you never subscribed before, you can use my coupon code DALIA2, and that will be in the description box down below as well, to get um, $2 off your very first order if you've never ordered before from them. And I think, but don't hold me to it, I think that's good for either the kit or their sister store at Beadbox Bargains. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I am sorry I haven't been on a whole lot over the holiday season, but my son and I were really down with a certain C word, bad flu-like type thing. And I, honestly, I still have um, a little cough, but not as bad. He got it worse than I did. He really did. But for three days, I was out of it. And then for another week or more, I was still not great, um, and um, headache, headache, headache. Anyway, you don't need to hear my story, but I just wanted to not let you know that I didn't get much of anything done. All our Christmas plans were canceled or postponed. Um, I had a granddaughter who had a birthday. That was postponed, but I am finally feeling okay. I still have um, a little bit of congestion now and then, but I am much, 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 much better than I was the week before Christmas and over the Christmas holiday. So I hope you are all well. Take care of yourselves. There's a lot of stuff going on, not just that, but just regular flu and RSV. And, and my granddaughter had an intestinal bug for a week, a week, intestinal and stomach together. Yeah, nasty. And that was also the same week we were sick with this. So we would have had to cancel Christmas anyway because we usually go to my daughter's on uh, Christmas morning and yeah, I don't need to get that. <laughs> None of us need to get that. So just take care of yourselves, eat properly, drink lots of fluids always. And um, little, did you, did you know that if you drink even decaf tea or coffee, it still has caffeine in it? And for, my doctor told me for every cup of coffee, decaf even, or tea that you drink, you have to make up for that by drinking an extra glass of water of the same amount or some clear fluid stuff uh, to stay hydrated. So by drinking too much coffee or too much tea and not enough of the other clear liquids like water, um, you can get dehydrated and that can cause all kinds of issues. We learned that oh, a couple years ago. All right, guys, that's a long story. Happy New Year. <laughs> stay he healthy, stay safe, and I will talk to you very soon because I know I will be playing with my subscription boxes very soon. Take care. Hugs, love, and peace.